Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. A run on the French banks? I don't think it's gonna happen. This is an article here from France 24. It's talking about yellow vest protesters have made a call for a run on the French banks. And there's a lot of unrest going on in France uh, for a myriad of different reasons. We'll kind of explore that a little bit here. But uh, there's potential that if, if enough people take their money out of the banks, then that would mean that it could pose a massive threat to the, to the euro and in turn have a ripple effect and maybe even cause gold and silver prices to go up. But I don't think that's going to happen, and I'll tell you why as we explore this article here. Yellow vest protesters have urged supporters to withdraw their money from French banks en masse on Friday, which was yesterday, in a deliberate attempt to disrupt the system. Yet despite the threat, financial institutions appear unconcerned. And, uh, and actually, I've not seen any evidence uh, as of today that that has occurred in searching the news on this. Protesters have called for the first wave of cash withdrawals to start at 7 p.m. local time on Friday, ahead of nationwide demonstrations planned on Saturday, which is today. We're going to frighten the state with legal means without resorting to violence. We know that it is that it isn't the government that's in charge, but the banks. If the banks are weakened, the state is also weakened. A protester identified as Taz San said in a video posted on YouTube on January 7th. The goal was to maintain pressure on the government to heed Yellow Vest protesters' demands, in particular the right to propose and vote on new laws by hitting them where it hurts, the economy. If every customer withdraws all the cash they have deposited with even a solvent bank at the same time, no financial institution has the sufficient funds to pay out to their clients. Yellow Vest protesters hope that if they can cripple at least one bank, it will have a knock-on effect, or knock-out effect. There are a lot of people who are prepared to withdraw their money from banks, Maxime Nicol, a prominent member of the movement, said in a video posted on Facebook on January 7th. Because you're making money with our cash and we're fed up. It's difficult, if not impossible, uh, according to France 24 here. Frank, French banks remain unfazed by the proposal as the amount necessary to have a negative impact ex exceeds the daily limits. Many banks in France allow clients to withdraw from ATMs. Um, there's little chance it will work, France 24's business editor, Christophe um, Donset, explained. The amount of money French people have deposited in banks is estimated at 1.5 trillion euros, according to the Bank of France. Of this amount, 390 billion is currently available. Every French per person would therefore have to withdraw 5,800 euros. This is very difficult, if not impossible, considering the cash withdraw withdrawals from ATMs are limited. Don said, said that none of the banks he has spoken to have taken any steps to protect their institutions from the plan. I'll also say that probably even in a larger reason is, is getting everybody to cooperate equally, number one. And number two is... There's no, most of these bank runs that have happened throughout history happen for, uh, under completely different circumstances in history. Uh, not as many people use cash these days, um, including Europeans and French. So everything's more digital. Digital. So it's um, there's less likely. Some people some people really can't make that connection. Number one and number two, most bank runs occur when there's a threat. Of the uh, of the, their money being threatened, as far as will it be seized? Will there be uh, a sort of a typical um, bail-in type situation where they actually charge you to hold money in the bank, or is the value of the of the currency under threat? And at this time, the euro is not. It's for purely political reasons, and I don't think that's quite enough to really convince the French people to 
for all of them to take their money out or even for uh, large enough of them to really have much of an effect as, as this article says. There has never been an, a deliberate run on the bank in France, as noted. The idea to organize a bank run gained support among Yellow Vest movement in recent weeks as they sought new ways to maintain public, political, and press attention. The movement, which began last year in response to direct tax on diesel fuel, appeared to lose some of its momentum after President Emmanuel Macron announced a number of concessions in December. Demonstrations last weekend drew on an estimated 50,000 people nationwide, according to the Interior Ministry. However, Paris Police uh, Chief Mikhail Depech said on Friday that he anticipates an even greater turnout this Saturday, the ninth consecutive weekend of protests, and that 80,000 officers will be deployed across the country. In fact, here we see some of the preparation for that. Here, tens of thousands of police mobilized for the ninth Yellow Vest protest here. Authorities fired tear gas and water cannons in Paris during scuffles between police and protesters. But this is the most recent article that I saw, and I don't see anything in here <clears throat> um, other than that dozens of banks, jewelry stores, and other shops on the Champs Alessa's shopping street were boarded up for the day. Reporter John Litfield described those taunting and throwing stones at officers as looking like hard right use rather than provincial uh, GJ who made up most of the marchers earlier. Across France, more than 100 people were arrested, including 59 in Paris, and around a quarter of the national figure was detained overnight for carrying weapons. <clears throat> so, but nothing in here, uh, as of the date of this article, and it is Saturday, um, about a uh, run on the banks. And <clears throat> here's an article from Cointelegraph that says what we know about the Yellow Vest bank run and how cryptos could help it. <clears throat> and this is, this basically talks about how, you know, if they do a bank run, they could take that money and maybe do it through a digital transaction and transfer it straight into cryptocurrencies. And the article kind of discusses some of this. <clears throat> it says, uh, um, you know, it talks about a bank run, run and, and, uh, and it talks about the Yellow Vest movement. And then it talks about Bitcoin in France. The extent to which the demonstrators appear to support cryptocurrencies has not been measured. But some photos of an alleged protester wearing a yellow vest saying buy Bitcoin on the back has gone viral among crypto-oriented blogs. Accordingly, similar vests are being sold at Amazon. Moreover, for the 10th anniversary of the Bitcoin Genesis block, French graffiti artist Pascal Boyart unveiled his wall mural, The Liberate Guante la People 2019. <clears throat> it's based off the famous painting of a French Revolution but featuring people in yellow vests. According to Boyart, he hid more than $1,000 worth of Bitcoin in it. The wallet address of the public of the prize is public with entrepreneur Elizar Milne encouraging Bitcoin users to donate to the project to further increase the size of the treasure. And there it is. Somewhere in there is a Bitcoin address. Uh, there are more definite signs that Bitcoin is enjoying mainstream recognition in France However, in November 2018, the local Tobacco Federation obtained permission to sell Bitcoin at tobacco shops starting from January 2019. The, uh, in, um, in a deal with French cryptocurrency wallet provider Kepler K, up to 4,000 small shops will sell Bitcoin vouchers in denominations of 50, 100, and 250 euros, which customers can exchange for cryptocurrencies and Kepler K's website when they open a wallet. And uh, so essentially, you know, it's, um, it's, it's basically the Bitcoin and its use is kind of increasing in France, but it's not really at a measurable rate, which means that you know, the, the chances of them taking their money out from the bank run and putting it into cryptos is something that is unknown. But it says here, is the French bank likely run to succeed and what could it mean for crypto? As a French magazine Capital states, the potential disruptive element of the upcoming bank run could technically be considerable when banks start to collapse due to their inability to cover the cost of operating. The whole sector is likely to fail altogether. However, 
It also highlights the voluntary nature of the Yellow Vest Bank run, noting that eventual turnout is likely to be low enough so as to not initiate a crisis. And so far, as of the recording of this video, and it is Saturday, and it's, um, it's not seen any evidence of any crisis in France. Capital also notes that the average amount withdrawn each day in France is 342 million euros, while around 126,000 people marched in France to support Yellow Vest on December 8th. Consequently, at least 100,000 of them would have to withdraw around 3,400 euros to reach such an amount. Additionally, there are daily withdrawal limits tapped between 300 to 500 euros on debit cards for regular users, which would make the whole process more complicated. Christopher Demblick, head of macroeconomic research at Saxo Bank, also seems skeptical about the movement's ability to shatter the banking system. Triggering a bank run requires huge queues at the counters. Very honestly, I think the strike force of Yellow Vest is too weak to destabilize the sector even at that margin. <clears throat> so this article also agrees with me that it's probably likely not going to happen. Uh, so nonetheless, it is an interesting concept. And... Um, and, you know, and the fact that the potential for an increase in an excitement in Bitcoin is something that people are salivating over, for lack of a better phrase. But my really thing is, is the if you want to really protect yourself against the banks, you know, on a regular basis, purchase gold and silver. And my proposal, you know, for these yellow vest people is to do just that. Um, and at your own time and own leisure and make it a constant protest by accumulating gold and silver. So there you have it. Post your thoughts below about the yellow vest and the bank run. Would like to extend a multitude of gratitude y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.